Uh, I am Vincent and I will be demonstrating to you how to set up your new IRTK system. So it comes with your two receivers. So that's the first one and this is the second one. And there are four internal batteries for the receivers. And you have an external radio and a measuring tape. And you have, these are your uh, LAN antennas for the Wi-Fi. HF antennas and an extension pole. This is the cable for the charger for your batteries. So later on I'll be showing you how to charge this battery as well as the battery for the external battery. Okay. Okay, so this is also the cable that connect with for the external battery and the external radio to one of you. So the first thing that I'll be showing you how to do is how to set up these two receivers um, with the internal radios that I have inside them. Uh, you also have a bracket for the for the tablet that you'll be using to collect data. So this is also a this is the tri -bra. That's where you're going to set up on, that's what you're going to use to set up on the tripod. And you also have the tripod adapter. Okay, so this is the adapter. There's one in here. Uh, this is the charger for your external battery. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we are going to start off by by setting up the receivers and calibrating the internal electronic uh, bubble. Okay, so I'm just going to take out the tripod here. Okay, this is the adapter. You make sure that inside here it's open. You put in that one, the adapter, and you lock it. So that's locked and it won't fall off. Okay, so to unlock it, you just turn it the other way around and it comes out. So the extension pole, the extension pole goes on top of the of that tripod adapter. So it screws in. So I'm going to take that up. So that screws in in here. Okay, that's your tripod adapter. Do the electronic bubble calibration. So I'm going to take one of the receivers and then if you see at the back here you have a lever. I'm just going to open the battery cap and then I'm going to put in the battery inside. So this is one of your batteries and if you look here you've got a button here. If you press that button there it shows you how much charge you have in one of the batteries, in one of in the battery. So just by looking at this one, this one doesn't have a lot of power. So I'm going to put that one back. I'm going to look for one that's got enough power. So if I press on that one there, if you can see there all the lights here are full. So that battery has it. It's fully charged. So I'm going to put this inside. Okay, and then I close and I hear a little bit of a snap to make sure that the cap is closed. So if you look at the top of your receiver here, yeah, there's a bit of a cap that can open. That's where you put in your antenna, okay? 
So I won't do that now because the first thing we need to do is to calibrate uh, the electronic bubble. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to set this tripod on the tripod. So I've opened the high survey here. Okay, let me just go back quickly. Uh, looks it, okay. So from your main menu on the high survey uh, tablet on the cupad, you just uh, go to all programs and you select high survey. Okay, the high survey app will start. Okay, and then you go to devices at the bottom and you select device. Uh, okay, cancel that and then you select connect and then you search for Bluetooth device. That will be the receiver that we just set up earlier. Okay, so that will be the only one that appears because it's the only Bluetooth device available. So I'm going to select on it and confirm to connect to that device. So it will show you a Bluetooth pairing request and all you have to do is select pair. Okay, so you select connect and then you select the device that's available and that will be the, your only the receiver that's available. Okay, that receiver is connected. So if you go out and you go to, you will here see that's a warning. The electronic calibration of electric bubble has been ex has been expired. Needs to calibrate before surveying. You select OK, select additional settings, and then you select electronic bubble calibration. Okay. So as you can see now that bubble is out of the center and we need that to go inside the center so the you can see at the bottom there it says click start to start calibration so you click start okay let the receiver check satellites put it in and on a stable and slight strictly leveling platform then press ok so i've placed the, that receiver on a tripod and it's leveled so i can select ok so it's calibrating now and it's taking that bubble to the center there so that it's calibrated and it will show you the calibration will expire in 30 days so that's calibrated now okay so that's for the first receiver okay so, okay so i've placed the second receiver on the tripod there and it's also leveled so we're going to do the same thing for that device so okay going to go to connect the second receiver is 1367-2318 that's serial number connect okay it's connecting okay so it will give you that warning also that the calibration of electron bubble has been expired so you select ok and then you go back one you select additional settings 
electronic bubble calibration you can see that bubble is also out so you can also see the degrees by which it's out so you can select start calibration okay you've placed the the receiver on a stable platform that's the tripod like that one okay so it's leveled so after that you select okay and it's calibrating so it takes that bubble to the center there and it says success so you know that's calibrated also okay so that in short is how you do the electronic bubble calibration so if in 30 days it's expired that's a quick way on now to do it okay